Hi, my name is Alice Living and I'm a personal trainer and women's health columnist. And today I'm gonna to be taking you through my lower body and core workout from my 28 day kickstart program with women's health. Now kickstart doesn't have to mean that you're absolutely killing yourself within each session. What I really wanted to achieve with this program is to make sure that it's accessible and sustainable and that within each session, you're growing in confidence and feeling better in yourself. It doesn't matter if you're not taking part in the program. This workout is a great standalone home workout for those that are just wanting to move their bodies. And if you haven't got weights, don't worry. You can use water bottles or simply do all the exercises with your own body weight. Now, before we start, we need to warm up. So follow me and join in and hopefully we can get fit together. Now, a warm-up should always be session specific, so focusing on the muscles that you're going to use in your workout ahead, but it's also great for preventing injury and getting you nice and activated for the exercises you're about to do. So you're about to do your warm-up, make sure you've got enough space around you, and if you have got an exercise mat, then lay that out so you've got some support underneath you. So we're gonna start by just raising our core temperature, and all we're gonna do for that is just by doing some marching on the spot. So make sure you're bringing your knees nice and high and just swinging your arms. And with that, we're gonna just raise our core temperature so we're a little bit warmer and ready to do the workout ahead. So keep going. We're gonna go for about a minute with these or until you feel warm enough. If at a minute you're not feeling warm enough, carry on for a little bit longer. So swinging those arms and really driving through the feet to lift the knees up towards the chest. If you're not feeling up to a um, march, you can just do simple side steps to start with and just make sure that with those, you're really trying to move yourself so that you can get nice and warm before your workout. I'm gonna go back to the marching. Just go for a little bit longer. And then after this, we're gonna go down to the floor and start moving our bodies a little bit more. So we go five more seconds. And three, two, one, perfect. We're gonna to come to the top of our mat now and I want your feet directly underneath your hips. Now from here, we're gonna push the weight into the back of the heels and send the hips backwards so that we create a nice hinged position. From here, I'm then gonna bend the knees until my hands reach the ground and then walk myself out into a plank position with the hands directly underneath the shoulders, pelvis tucked, chin in line. Hold for a second there and then just walk the hands back towards the feet, coming up to standing. And then we just go back down the way we came. So each time hinging backwards, hands come to the floor, walking yourself out into that really strong plank position in a nice flat line, and then walking back towards your feet. Let's go for a couple more there. So again, we hinge, walking the hands out, coming into that plank position, engaging through the core, squeezing the glutes as well, coming up to standing. Let's go for one more, walking out, hold, and then walking the hands back towards the feet. Perfect. Let's move on. So we're now gonna come down to the floor onto our hands and knees. Hands are gonna go directly underneath the shoulders and the knees are just slightly wider than the hips. From here, we're gonna tuck the pelvis under and really round up through the spine, coming into a big cat cow. So the chin tucks and then we initiate the arch by taking the pelvis back the way we came taking the chin up towards the ceiling and then coming into a nice arch. So we're really articulating through the spine, drawing outwards with the shoulder blades. And then as we arch through the back, bringing the shoulder blades back towards each other. Let's go for a couple more here. So really rounding through the back, spreading the shoulder blades, tucking the chin, arching through the back and then just going back the way we came. Two more, pressing into the floor, really Trying to get as much movement as you can within each rounding and arching. And last one, let's go. And final arch. Good. So we're now going to move on to some thoracic spine rotation. So your T-spine is the middle part of your back and we're going to work on mobilising it so that we have some nice rotation and free it up as it's an area of your back that can get quite locked up if you sit at a desk all day. So from here we're going to come back onto all fours and then just push ourselves back slightly and then from there I'm going to take the left hand to the side of my head and then just rotate open trying to really isolate that top part of my back and then drawing the elbow down and rotating through towards the opposite side. Again, I'm going to lift the elbow up, rotate towards the ceiling, trying to get a little bit more movement each time, and then drawing the elbow down back towards the other side. 
couple more times on this side and then we'll swap to the side. So really each time trying to twist that upper back and then twist down towards the opposite elbow. Let's go for two more here. Trying to keep the hips nice and stable so that you're really just isolating your back rather than using the hips to get some more movement. Last time here and then drawing the elbow down and then we're gonna swap sides. So from here, right hand goes to the right side of your face. Just gently touching, not holding onto anything. And then from there, again, we're rotating, opening the spine, and then twisting down and rotating towards the other side. Again, we open up and draw the elbow back down towards the other side. Let's go for three more here. Really nice, just trying to get a little bit more movement each time you do it. And two. Last time, opening up, good, that's great, perfect. So we're now gonna move on to something that pairs your thoracic rotation with also something that's gonna raise your core temperature. So we're gonna come into a dynamic lunge, which we're gonna pair with some rotation. So if I just show you, we're gonna come into a plank position and then from there, I'm gonna draw my left foot forwards into a long lunge, making sure the heel is planted onto the floor from here, my back leg is nice and active, so it's not drooping down towards the floor. And then I'm gonna open up towards the leg that's forwards, twisting towards the ceiling, and then bringing that hand down towards the floor and doing the same thing on the opposite side. So the left leg goes back, the right leg then comes forwards, and again, twisting towards that leg, and then back down towards the floor. So we're just gonna move through a couple of these now. And you should really start to feel your core temperature rise now. You should start to feel a bit warmer, a bit more mobile. So the lunges should start to feel a little bit easier. And just moving through the movement, trying to keep nice and active. Let's go for one more on each side. Last one here. Good, perfect. And back to your plank position. Okay, our next exercise is gonna be an exercise that's gonna help open up the hips. Obviously, as this is our lower body workout, we wanna focus on opening up through the lower body and making sure that we're nice and warmed up for the session ahead. So we're gonna go for a dynamic pigeon. With that, we're gonna come back into our plank position and instead of bringing the leg forwards into a dynamic lunge, we're instead gonna bring the knee between the hands and just drop down into a pigeon stretch. Hold for a second, make sure the body is nice and forward over that knee, send that leg back and then repeat on the other side. Good, we're gonna go for one more on each side. And finish. Okay. So our final exercise is gonna look at also opening up through the hips. We're gonna go for some internal and external rotation from a seated position. So what we're gonna do is come onto your bum, feet out in front of you, and you want them just a little bit wider than the hips. You're then gonna sit really nice and tall through the chest. You can either cross your hands in front of your chest like this, or if you're finding it a little bit more challenging, you can place the hands behind you as long as you keep really nice and tall through the torso. So what I don't want is you drooping through the chest and sort of just doing this. Make sure you're nice and tall and make sure that you are really raised up so that you're sitting on your, sit um, on your sitting bones and that your feet are out in front of you. Okay, from there, we're gonna drop the knees down to the left so that you come into a 90-90 position. So as you can see, I'm making 90 degree angle with both of my knees and then from there keeping really nice and tall through the chest I'm going to open one leg open the other and then rotate down towards the opposite side again lifting up rotating really slowly try not to rush this one and then dropping the knees down to the other side again if you're having your hands in front of your chest this is going to look like this and we're just going to move through a few of these rotations One more towards the opposite side. Good. And there you have it. That is my full lower body warm up. I hope you're feeling nice and ready for your lower body and core session ahead. Let's get started. 
Now I'm going to talk you through each of the exercises that we're going to do so you know exactly what's coming up. And I'm also going to explain the format of the workout. So the workout is broken down into supersets. That means one exercise paired with another exercise followed by a 60 second rest. Each exercise is done three times, so that's three sets, which means you do one exercise followed by the next exercise followed by a rest, and then you do that again two more times. So hopefully that makes sense, but don't worry, if you're confused, just follow along with me. So our first superset is gonna be a goblet squat paired with a hip hinge, which we call a good morning. Then we're gonna move on to a reverse lunge, which we paired with water bottle RDLs, but you can also use your hand weights for these or a resistance band if you've got it. Next up, we've got glute bridge marches, which we've paired with sideline clam. And then finally, we've got a tricep, which is three exercises paired together, which includes a frog pump, an RKC plank, and some dead bugs. Now you know what you've got coming up, let's get started. Just in case you're confused about what's coming next, it will be shown in the rest period so you know what you've got to do. We've got your goblet squats paired with a good morning to begin with. So we're gonna take the feet slightly wider than hip width and turn the feet slightly out. And I want you to keep really tall through the torso you're not, so you're not dropping down through the chest. For this, I like to cross my hands across my chest, so this reminds me to keep nice and tall through the chest. From there, I'm gonna bend at the knee and draw the hips down, keeping my chest nice and tall, knees going out over the toes, and then driving up through the heels and back up to standing. We wanna make sure that in a squat, your heels aren't coming off the floor and that your knees are really tracking out over your feet rather than coming in towards each other. So we want to make sure knees out, heels down, chest up. So those are your three reminders. So let's go, 10 reps, here we go. Hopefully that was okay. Don't worry if that didn't feel 100%. We're gonna come back to it twice more so you can always improve with each set. So next up we have our good morning. So this is the hip hinge where we really focus on bending at the hip. So sending the hips backwards with the weight into the heels of the feet. For this, we're gonna take the hands just gently behind the head. You're not pushing onto your head, but you're just gently touching it to make sure that you keep nice and tall through the torso. The things I really want you to focus on is making sure that you don't bend through the back so you're not bending there. Instead, you're keeping a really long, neutral spine and just bending at the hip, keeping a nice, soft knee and keeping both feet onto the floor. Each time coming up, you're gonna squeeze the glutes under and just have a little squeeze before you go into the next rep. Off we go, 10 reps. That was your first set done. Now we're gonna take a 60 second rest and head straight back into your goblet squat. So our 60 seconds is almost up, let's get ready. Feet again underneath the hips, toes slightly turned out, nice and tall through the torso. 10 reps, here we go. Good. 
And now we're gonna go straight into your good morning. So again, hands behind the head, feet underneath the hips, and let's go. another 60 second rest before we go into our final set of this super set. So 60 seconds is almost up. We're about to head into our final set. Let's go. Not least our final set of good mornings hands behind the head feet underneath the hips off we go your first superset done so take a 60 second rest and then we're going to head straight into our next superset which is our reverse lunges which we're pairing with an RDL. So our next superset starts with our reverse lunges. For this, I want you to come to the top of your mat and then you're gonna take one leg back into a lunge, making sure that you keep the body nice and forward over the supporting leg. So from here, I like to have my hands crossed across my chest or in a prayer position here, just to keep my chest nice and tall. And then from there, the leg goes back and I'm just slightly leaning over that front leg to keep really nice and long through my spine before driving down into the floor and coming back up to standing. Now I'm gonna do 10 reps one side and then 10 reps on the other. So focusing on working one leg first and then swapping to the other. 10 reps, when you're ready, off we go. Great, let's go for the other side now.
So next up, we have our water bottle RDL. Now, don't worry if you haven't got water bottles. You can also use hand weights, or you can just do it as a simple body weight exercise if you want to. I'm gonna grab my water bottles, and then really similar to the good mornings, which we did in our previous superset, I want you to stand with your feet underneath the hips, and then your water bottles are just gonna to touch onto your thighs. And I really want you to focus on keeping contact with your legs the whole time. So similar to the good morning, we're gonna hinge at the hip, sending the weight back into the heels, and then our water bottles are just gonna track down our legs to just below the knee. We're gonna hold for a second, and then we're gonna come up to standing. Now, one thing I didn't say, which is really important, is that I really want to focus on keeping long through the spine. So as you can see, when I hinge backwards, I keep my chin nice and tucked and really long through the spine so that I'm not bending my neck like this. So I really want to focus on tucking the chin and keeping long through the spine, and the only movement comes from bending the hips. If you've got that, we're going to go for our 10 reps. Now we've got our 60 second rest now, we're going to go straight back into our reverse lunges. So 60 seconds is almost up, let's get ready for our reverse lunges. Great, let's go for the other side now. So now we've done that, we're going to go straight onto our RDLs, grab your weights, and let's go. That's our second superset done. We've got one more set to go before we move on.
I hope you've enjoyed your rest. We've got our final set now here, so let's get ready for our reverse lunges. Great, let's go for the other side now. Nicely done, our final set of RDLs are now coming up. Grab your weights and let's go. Perfect, so you've finished that superset now. We only have two more things left to do. So pop your weights down and I'll explain what we're gonna do in our next superset. So for our next superset, we're gonna come down to the floor. So I want you to be lying on your back and we're gonna come into a glute bridge position. So back is flat on the floor. And then from here, I'm gonna bend my knees so that my heels are just slightly wider than hip width. From here, what I want you to focus on is drawing your pelvis up towards the ceiling and then maintaining that height as you then do your glute bridge marches. So for these, we're gonna lift one leg off, hold for a second, before drawing back down to the floor and then swapping with the other side. Great, so that's those done. We're now gonna move on to our sideline clam. And what you're going to do is come onto your side. Your elbow is gonna be directly underneath your shoulder. So really make sure that that positioning is correct. And then from there, I want you to bend your knees into a 90 degree angle and have your knees together and your feet together with the hand on the hip. From this position, you're gonna drive down into the floor with your lower leg. And at the same time, you're gonna lift your hips up and separate the knees into a clam position before coming back down towards the floor. You're gonna go for 10 reps on each side. Let's go. Great, let's go for the other side.
that's our first superset done, take 60 second rest and then we're going to go straight back into our glute bridge marches. So our rest time is almost up, but one thing I did really want to remind you of is like I said in the introduction, it's always about quality, not quantity. So try not to match my pace, but go at your own pace and whatever you feel comfortable with to ensure that you're keeping correct form. Okay, let's get into those glute bridge marches. Coming onto our backs, drawing the legs up towards your bum, driving the hips up towards the ceiling, keeping that height, and off we go. Okay, that's our second set of those done. Let's move on to our sideline clams. Again, elbow is underneath the shoulder, knees together, feet together, and let's go. Great, let's go for the other side. well we have one more set of this to go so let's take 60 seconds and then head into our final set We've got our last set coming up. When you're ready, let's come onto our backs. Feet flat on the floor. Draw the hips up to the ceiling. Let's go 10 reps each leg. Off we go.
Great, you're doing really well. We just have our final exercise, which is our sideline clams in this superset. Elbow underneath the shoulder, hands on the hip, knees together, feet together. 10 reps, let's go. Let's go for the other side. well we just have one try set left to go which is our three exercises which we're going to finish with so grab some water and we'll come back in another 60 seconds Final tricep has three exercises in it, and our first one is going to be frog pumps. So we're going to be lying on our back for this. Soles of the feet are going to come together, and you're going to allow the knees to just fall out towards the side. From here, I want you to press the soles of the feet together as you draw the hips up towards the ceiling, hold for a second, and then come back down. And we're going to go for 20 reps here. So off you go. Great, so we're gonna move on to our next exercise now, which is our plank. So for this, I want you to come onto your front and to set up for your plank position, I want you to focus on having your elbow directly underneath your shoulder. So making a nice right angle and pressing the fist down into the floor. From here, you're gonna take one leg out, followed by the other and squeeze the inner thighs together as if you had a piece of paper between your inner thighs. At the same time, you're sort of tucking the pelvis under to really engage through the core and then drawing the shoulder blades down towards your um, waistband of your leggings. And then you're gonna hold this for as long as you feel comfortable before releasing. dead bugs. So for this you're going to come to, onto your back and then from here what I want you to do is to take your knees up into a 90 degree angle and then take your hands up so they're in almost a, like a zombie position. Now from here what you're going to do is extend opposite arm and leg away from the body whilst also pressing the lower abs down to the floor so that you don't get a big gaping gap between your lower back and the floor. So that looks like this. Each time I extend away, I make sure that I'm pressing my lower back down into the floor and then coming back to neutral. Same on the other side, we extend away. Make sure that it's the heel that's driving away, not the toe. Holding for a second, pressing my lower back down into the floor and then coming back up into the neutral. So we're gonna go for 10 reps on each side. Off we go.
that's the first round of your final three exercises done. We're gonna take a 60 second rest and then jump straight back in with our frog pumps. So when you're ready, let's go straight back in, lying onto our backs, soles the feet together. Frog pumps. Moving straight on, we're gonna go for our plank. So coming onto your front. Again, elbows are directly underneath the shoulders. Drawing the hands down into the floor. Squeezing the inner thighs together. Off we go. Really well done. We've got our final exercise now of this set. So lying onto our backs, we're gonna go for our dead bugs. Knees bent, hands straight, off we go. Really well done. So that's round two of three done. We just have one more round to go and then you are finished. So take your rest and we'll jump straight back in with your frog pumps. When you're ready, we're gonna lie onto our backs, feet together, 20 reps, off we go.
Really well done, guys. We're almost there. Coming onto our front for our plank. You're doing so well. Almost finished with our first workout. So take the feet back and off we go. Great. Final exercise, we're almost there. Coming onto your back. Knees bent, hands up straight, and let's go. Really well done, guys. You have just finished your lower body and core workout. Well done, you have done amazing. Now, if you want to follow the whole of my 28-day Kickstart Challenge with Women's Health, then simply follow in the description below. And please do like and subscribe to Women's Health UK.